Hi, I'm Martin from Tech and Bits, and this is the review of the Nokia Lumia 1320. The Nokia Lumia 1320 is one of the first really big Windows Phone 8 devices on the market. With a huge 6 inch screen, it is truly a fablet. And with a price point of around 300 euros, it is considered a mid range device. The casing is made out of a polycarbonate plastic shell with a matte finish. It feels sturdy in the hand but it can collect some fingerprints. It's a hefty device and feels well built. There are no squeaking or crackling sounds when handling the device. All the buttons are located on the right side of the device. We have the power button, the volume rocker and a dedicated camera shutter button, which, which is something I quite like in a smartphone. The shutter button can be used to open the camera up, but the phone needs to be unlocked for this to work. The buttons are clicky and provide good feedback when clicked. Make no mistake, this is a big phone. I have reasonably large hands and pressing the, bu the back button one-handed is not possible in a comfortable way. This is a two-handed tablet. I have the black version at hand, but the Nokia Lumia 1320 is also available in white, yellow and orange. Six inches diagonally is a lot, which is awesome for video playback and gaming. But also all the text in the UI is huge and thus easily readable. The resolution is 720p, which is not a lot for this size. You will be able to see some pixels. The glass is Gorilla Glass 3, so it should be quite scratch resistant and should not shatter fast when dropped, although I wouldn't recommend dropping this heavy phone. The Nokia Lumia 1320 runs on Windows Phone 8, and thanks to the larger form factor there is actually an extra column of tiles on the home screen available for you to customize in comparison with smaller Windows Phone 8 devices. Working with Windows Phone in its current software iteration is fast and responsive, but there are a lot of little annoyances. One of the biggest being the lack of a dedicated notification center. Other drawbacks are not being able to set certain apps as default. For example, when clicking on a YouTube link in the browser, I would like to see the video in the YouTube app I prefer instead of in the browser. Speaking of the browser, Internet Explorer does the job and zooming and scrolling are plenty fast. The added apps from Nokia like Here Maps and Here Drive with offline navigation are a big plus and give the phone an advantage over other Windows phone manufacturers like HTC. The Snapdragon S4 dual core 1.7 GHz CPU with 1 gig of RAM performs well for day to day activities and the casual gamer. Big games run smooth for the most part, but we still wish they would start up a bit quicker. If you are a big gamer, the Nokia Lumia 1320 might be a bit too slow to your liking. Obviously a 6 inch screen is fun to watch videos on. There is a small looking speaker on the back side of the device but it's surprisingly loud. The multimedia experience is great with a big screen and a good speaker. The phone comes with a small 8GB of built in storage but this is expandable via the micro SD card slot. The Nokia Lumia 1320 has a 5 megapixel camera with flash. Most shots are ok, but you won't be wowing anyone with them, especially in low light conditions. The dedicated camera shutter button with half press to focus is awesome. Autofocus is fast and taking multiple photos after one another is reasonably quick but overall the camera does, does not impress. The 3400 mAh battery is impressive and will last you a day or more, even on moderate to heavy usage. Now for some small additional notes. The battery is not replaceable, the screen loses some brightness when viewed at an angle, the headphone jack is on top, I prefer it to be on the bottom, 
The earphones that came in the box are a bit quiet. Sometimes they, sh they sound a little muffled, but they do the job. The headphone cable is uh, very long, so that's a plus. All the buttons are on the right side of the phone, and sometimes I find myself pressing them when picking up the phone. And then last but not least, I really like the fact that the front is al almost fully black. I like the look of the phone. My conclusion? Buy this phone if you want a reasonably priced Windows Phone 8 tablet. You will enjoy an amazing multimedia experience.